I love this here for Brent because we're gonna see Wits play a Phoenix. When was the last time we've seen him with that one? I love it. I love it coming here from Brent Esports. They're really pushing the Filipino brand of Valorant with this uh, Rays and Phoenix lineup. But let's go straight into it as Brent are really pushing their favor into the A site itself. Flash on out for Saken. He's gonna get caught off guard by Wits himself as the U-Haul's lapse control has been seized and taken. Wits out in the open, still lands a second right click on the Dubai, and that are the two big time hitters taken off of the board early on from Paper Rex. Yeah, double duel is there on the Bren Esports side. They do have that Sova in the meantime though for the defensive. It's gonna be that Viper, gonna be that Sage. The Vido has already fallen. Jesse Bash in the meantime with a takedown there and a mind freak. And here comes Wits with four kills to hit. Taking the stock to even claim that here in Valorant as well. But the opening pair from the Vi is gonna come in huge. This is where Paper Rex are. And he is incredible on that agent, especially with those guiding lights later on. Dispenser though, catching out the Vi, but Shiva piling in the pressure and Paper Rex. You can see that they are oozing with confidence right now in this series. Willingness to peek there with the classics. Go for the push and get that takedown. Borkum though, searching, hunting, but have to reload in front of Ventai. Who does know they have in their bags, in their pockets. They can still get the kills anyway. And now as Shiva has this Vandal in hand, dubstep. Inside the container, they'll fling it safe and sound. Spike is planted, 1v4 situation. And what can dubstep do against the onslaught of Paper X? All he's got is that Spectre. And Paper Rex have been so good in these uh, low eco situations, and Forsaken's gonna find the pick off there to close off the round. His PRX come back on a thrifty one to make things. He's on a site. Spike has been left behind. Forsaken now trying to gather some info, and as the Spencer peaks, Forsaken will get the takedown. My freak on the board as well. Borken now with the refrag though over onto that A site with the Vi falling, but it's still 4v3 in favor of Paper Rex. Bren trying to take these individual fights on the A short and towards the fountains as well, but the waters haven't been falling their way in the meantime. Oh, Bang Kai is in a good position here, but Borkum, wiser than that, finds him. Jesse Bash will do the same towards Mind Freak. They bring it to a 3v2 in their favor, and Jesse Bash in the right position there to find Sheba from hell. Might not be enough time to do that securely and safely. So try to go for the plant on the A side. There isn't much time left. Keep your eyes on that. Four oh, seconds left. The showstopper is going to end things, but no! Borkum! Qu Map number two of Bren and Paper Rex in the upper bracket finals. That was the standard they were playing on. That was the standard of how close these two teams can be. But the question now is, will Paper Rex be able to dominate yet again? They're trying to shut down the opening initiations coming here from Bren Esports on their duelists. Now, Mind Freak. And the shoulder peak. Let's get some information. Borkum. Be careful here as Mind Freak is also trying to spam him out, Benkai rather, and he's gonna find that frag. And so Jesse Vash will get the trade off in Mind Freak for the meantime, but they're pushing this very heavy handling. Jesse Vash is not gonna be able to stop him from doing what he wants and forsaken throwing him out to the wings. It's all on the dispenser. He's gonna need a 4k to make this happen. They now know where he is. You can expect that Forsaken is probably gonna peek him from that charge position. Viper wall is up. He's completely blind. PRX can destroy the Bren Esports teamwork framework. But here we go. Dispenser now catching out Shiva off to a good start. The buy now gonna get caught out by Dispenser, getting retribution from the previous round. And then Forsaken now playing the teleporters. He do get some backup alongside him with Mind Freak there as well. But Forsaken, he catches out Dubstep, Dubstep though from the grave, get, killing Mind Freak. For the pain shells, but it's still 4v2 here in favor of Bren Esports. Now they're forsaken, trying to get to the Hoka, but the Spencer still waiting, watching, and getting another takedown. Everything left. Been doing so much when it comes to these 1vx situations for Paper Rex, but the Spencer will not let. Has helped them out immensely to keep the scoreline no close. Word. Paper Rex. Now they're gonna be playing the aggression here on the defense. They're pushing through that B main. Is Jesse Bastion with still on the board? The Vida meantime catching out with, but Dubstep does find the answer. And Borkum now playing patiently. Shiva and the Vi were not ready for Borkum at all. And should here. Basically, in fighting game terms, that was a whiff punish, if anything. But Dubstep, he's not gonna win the fight a car versus Shiba. Somehow, across all of that, he still wins it, and Bankai as well! Man, Paper Rex is so good on these eco rounds, Dex. That's the thing. No matter what, Paper Rex can compete. Brand Esports, pretty much the same thing. Forsaken, though, now with a showstopper. But you have to look at these rounds in a round for round basis. There's always a possibility for either Paper Rex or Brand Esports to take away from the opposition. And PRX are proving it now. This is an eco round. As you mentioned, it's 3v2, though, in favor of Paper Rex. Jesse Vash, though, he's stepping on up. And Benkai will go down 2v2 right now, which caught the crossfire. And it's up to Vash here, but Forsaken! their shots and they know how to play the pace it seems like when the going gets tough paper rex gets rough but dispenser but still 
the discipline for them to try and take things slowly. Forsaken is pushing all the way from behind him. I'm not sure if you're going to catch him out, but Bankai shutting Dubstep down in the air like Doc Hunt not even letting him to stick the landing. The flash coming out from Wits. He's got the ultimate out here, but not finding much just yet. There we go. Lockdown now going to be the call. We have the Nast Swarm into play. Brandy Sports, so in the meantime, you looking for that space and more. But Paper Rex. They're breathing on the other side of the wall, but they do have to respect that Dome of Zoom, and they have to get on away. Benkaido, unfortunately, he will get detained there. Dispenser now looking to hunt down anyone who still has their hands up, but the Vi, smart play there with Trailblazer, at least fending off the opposition for now. Mind Freak though, keeping an eye out for him now, will get spotted! And just a mind blower there from Mind Freak, that's gonna be the first one for the side of PRX on this retake. Wits in the meantime by the Lamps, and Brand Esports trying to keep an eye out, but Fenkai from above! Jesse Bash will go down, and the Vias looking to play this Lamps part here, Mr. Black and Blue. He wants to go on in, but the Spencer will deny him to be 2 now, Benkai though with 3 so far, the Spencer with 3 as well! And it's gonna be Mono e Mono, who can Ooh. stand tall and proud? It's the Spencer! Taking though, taking down to 5 HP, a single bullet will do him on in but this viper has been holding on by bankai can be detrimental dubstep trapped between a rock and a hard place here right now but the witch is going to try and buy him out to some safety bankai winning that fight though still somehow dubstep not lining the shot they brought it to a 4v4 with wits very low he can heal himself back up there with a wall of his own but shiba is in good position to punish all of this oh shiba and there you go the punishment is real and wits gonna get clocked there fine fine pick up by the sage from above and paid for rex they know how to impose your black and blue. When Brandy Sports is stuck like this, when they are cornered, that's when Paper X can get on the hunt and go for those takedowns. And now, easy as pie here, Paper X. They know how to get in the way. No matter what. That's one of the biggest things. They know how to be a stopgap method. They know how to be that toll gate that Brandy Sports cannot clear. And now, Borkum looking to go for the plant, but in this situation, it's still PRX with the numbers advantage and with the rifles in hand. 2v4, Mind Freak has that cosmic divide too, but I don't think they're necessarily going to have to use it here. It's on the dispenser and Borkum to make it happen. These two legends of their own respective scenes has tried and time again made it work. Borkum's going to get the one pick off here, but the is going to shut him down, not letting him get any more. It really feels like that was just that one outlier last time with Paper Rex so, so dominant and Brand Esports faltering at the seams. But now we are back into the true experience between these two teams. And this is going to be some beautiful Valorant here from SCA. But here we have it 4v4 scenario. And the Vi with the Divide Flash yet again. Wit's not going to be able to get taken down there. But Dubstep with the Judge. Divide the though, he's been incredible with those guiding lights multiple times. One of the best we've seen in the SCA region. And Dubstep now playing. Fall back. Fans room retreat, but he's gonna have to find a few spirits here to oh, make oh, dead. Oh. He gets Borkum through the wall, who was already low in the first place, but he found the head. Now Borkum's dead. 1v2. Bankai, he has to go for this. It's the final round of the first half. He knows he has to push. The spike is planted out in the open. Bankai on top of the tube here. And that B-side push where Brent Esports are going to fully rotate to try and retrieve and back up the site. Dispenser, though. He's been so good in these situations. Zach, he's waiting and waiting. Dispenser patience now and Shiba gonna get caught and he can't put that spike down at the last moment there Paper Rex now they need to get the kills in fast but Brent Esports all they need to do is run on the way hide in the sides and that is gonna be enough again very very quickly Dispenser though keeping an eye out he's forsaken there but he the second round where in Paper Rex were on that eco can they make it happen once more for the most part it has been true here coming from inside Paper Rex time and time again for sake and finding a second and they're looking to make that dream into a reality with you try and hold on here but he will pull out the flash mind freak on the trade he's picked up the specter that was dropped earlier on inside hookah itself and they will get the plant down now in a 2v4 they both have specters in their hands but so do Paper Rex to a piece Sheriff on bound. They're going to have to try and win these 1v1 fights somehow. Dubstep crawling in. He's not going to expect Mind Freak here. Mind Freak is by all means going to shut him down. He will get a pick off himself, Dubstep. But will it be enough to secure the dub here for Borkum, who is in a 1v3? Trying to fix that he's jumping down here from the side of Hookah itself. He will try and crawl his pace up very closely. He will not be able to find the frag though at the end. Rex, and even in that map that Freddy's was won against Paper Rex, as Dubstep pounds Benkai and takes him down. 
That's what Brenny Sports is looking for, that win streak. But Keep for Rex doing a good job to mitigate that approach and just keep taking Ooh. rounds away from Brenny Sports. But now, will the Thrifty be on the other foot as Dubs have gets to so far? He's low though on the HP. We already get Mind Freak here infiltrating on the A side. But while we get the Barry Orb there to try and get in the way of the market front, it's Mind Freak now getting rid of Borkum. One HP though and a Dream. Can he get one more kill? Not gonna happen. Dubs step with three kills so far. Rifles now able to get picked up as well as Spectres. And Bren salvaging some guns here from the fall in the PRX. Even though they are in the economy, lower economic situation, I think that was the right decision to make. Shiba finds a pick off here in the dubstep. Recon Balk will give away the position to Shiba, but he's still gonna win the fight. Nonetheless, Jesse Vash in 1v2, he finds a pick off and he finds a second! Jesse Vash time and time again! Been ...without any rifles on their board, so does it really matter now that they only have three of them? Borkum though, finds that kill on the Bankai, which is a huge pick. Bankai, he's been a rock here. He's been the glue for Paper X, honestly. Keeping them together, and he's been finding so much value out of his positioning, but it's time for him to go down early. Paper X, that is a big pickoff for them to get dubstep in return. Wits is gonna shut down for a second, trying to peek from short. Those are two big picks from the side of Brand Esports. They have this 5-3 to three lead. They're trying to aggress here, Wits. Even though they have the advantage, he's still wanting to make a play with his ultimate. If I will shut that down for the meantime, but Reconnaissance will give them away. The flag here, though, from Dispenser. This is where he's so deadly. On that Killjoy, he gets a lot of free reign of what he wants to do. And with that, he's going through the cave zone, not going through short itself. We to take the long route here, but the destination is one in the same. Borkum not able to find the pickoff, but Wits is there for the trade. Yeah, and there we have it now as Paper X gonna be going over to B site with a spike and the Vi will be flaking the Lurk instead. Lurk for Lurk perhaps, which though does get taken out by the Guardian. And Divide the there tapping down the head of the Phoenix. The Spencer can he lurk against the Vi eventually? He makes the access happen and that journey of the Spencer. He makes it with a backstab and he makes it happen by that A side. But we move the action to be here, black and blue. And Shiva now caught between two of Bren Esports. Can Shiva actually hold the line? Jesse Vash will deny him there. But as Bren Esports will get this time and time again versus Bren whenever they got the lead. But now with the showers controlled quickly seized here by Bren Esports. I like that initiative. The Paper Rex are looking for the short position instead. The Lamps here. Oh, he does get the dink. The damage done on Forsaken, but not taken down. Dubstep able to find the follow up here in the bank. Oh, he finds a second fragment of Shiba, and Divi will answer back as well. Forsaken, even though he's at 10 HP, not afraid to take the fight. They know Borkum here is in the showers, and on the, the door of the Lamps itself, that is where he's going to be waiting. Excuse me, it will be Wits here in the showers itself. Trying to aggress on Forsaken. The Rez, the heal will come up on him, but Wits has got a different problem to deal with, and so he does. Forsaken answering back. It's a 2v3. He just fades away with that shot before wall bang there, but an even better refrag from Forsaken. But this is now gonna be low HP state here for both Divine and Forsaken. Forsaken's already gone and Divine and some, but Paper X momentum, it's it's a little more subtle. Take things a bit slower. Try and really use the information tools that they've got in their way. Get all of the reconnaissance that is possible. Using the Trailblazer there for information on short. Trying to bounce out here. Dispenser finds a double. Like the Sentinel that he is holding down the line. Barkham's going to answer back. Sheba will only find one pick here for Paper Rex. And they're trying to march their way. Trying to stomp their way into the site. But Wits is going to be wiser than that. Finding the pick on Mind Freak. It's all on the Dubai. Here comes out one of his signature flashes. Prepping it already. With Wits on the peak. He's going to lose that fight. Closer to map point for the PA Squadron. But Dubai... He does go on to the other side of the site, but Jesse Vash, Jesse Vash, dubstep, but it just goes to show as we get back into the game, that's the action is immediately underway. Shiva there, there with a kill onto Jesse Vash, dubstep though backs on out, decides to blast back one more time to get some altitude and peek in, but Benkai says bye bye to the Spencer who plays that teleporter. It's 5v3, immediately Paper Rex off to the races and getting those takedowns. At this point, when Brent Esports sees that the uh, economy for the Paper Rex is low, they kind of have to, I think, play a bit uh, more. Paper Rex, when they are in these eco situations, they just lock in and go into a different gear, and it seems so difficult for Brent Esports to really counteract at the moment. And that's how they've been keeping it close. They have yet to really lose many eco rounds in this series. As Wits finds a double. The rest of Paper X are trying to flood on into the A site itself. Shiba has been so good on finding these picks, but Dobstep 
lightning quick on that flick. He lands the shot. Bankai is going to find Wits to land to get the plan. He's got the Viper's Pit here. He's going to use it, utilize it to its fullest degree, and try and get him some space to work around. But Dubstep, he has an operator in his hands. Not the best weapon you want to be taking into a siege into the Viper's Pit itself. Borkin's gonna have to try and find his pick off here, but no! Benkai gets the kill! It's down to a 1v1, Dax! Smart call here from Benkai. Viper Spit, especially against Dubstep right now, who has the Operator. Perfect opportunity here for PRX. But Dubstep going for that fake, keeping an eye out, scoping on in, but now it's gonna be the full of the Viper Spit, and the He's pinging, he's like, come on, peek him, peek him, peek him already with me, and Dubstep! Exposed, spotted, isolated, taken down. He was stalled though with the gravity well and PRX to try to rush on in, but they can't because of the utility. And as I say, that's my freak right now, cashing out wits. Here we go with Forsaken turning on around to get rid of Borkum as well. And this is one of the best things Paper Rex can do. They play the angle well. Jesse Basto, right place, right time, yet again, but he can only get one. Beat right now at the moment. The Brandy Sports have made that magic happen. Tingling at the toes and the fingers right now. As a push coming here towards the B site. Here comes the Seekers out. Showstopper will not connect on much, but that Nano Swarm is melting for a second down. He's down to 75 HP. Dispenser here on the side of the elbow. Jesse Bass trying to throw his own out, but cannot land anything. The Seekers is going to tag on to him, but Dubstep's going to find a flank. He's going to find a flank on the Brian Creek as well. How does he do it time and time again? Shiba getting that kill on Dispenser. It's down to a 4v4 Dex. A pressure there to Jesse Bash though, the Seekers of the Vice, somehow, some way, getting close to him. For Brent, Dubstep keeping an eye out, Forsaken looking for the peak, backs on away incredibly, and that's one thing Forsaken does so well, if he knows that it's not going to be a one fight immediately, he backs on out, but Dubstep, this time he wins the duel against Benkai here, and PRX has to respect the space that Brent Esports is buying for themselves. But Paper X, they're running time, out of time here, black and blue. And Borkum now into the corner. Forsaken will go down. And here we go again with the teleportation. Shiva with the resurrection off the Forsaken. And he does get rid of Dubstep as well. But can Paper X hustle to that B side? Oh no, the spike has been left behind. And now with keeping an eye out at the right place yet again at the right time. And that's going to be the round there. Bren Esports. On the defensive side, BRX on this B side push next. Oh, I love that last back hop there for the bot, but at the same time, Dispenser, he's getting vaporized inside left. the container with the Nano Swarm, and Forsaken gonna go for the push. Beautiful vulnerable state onto Dispenser, Forsaken will use that extra damage to get that takedown, and Shiva yet again on the high ground here, up top the Barry Orb, as we get the spike planted. So it's 5v4, Brand Esports, they're down by one, but you mentioned that they still have the ultimates into play. They can go for the Cosmic Divide, and they're gonna go for the big wall here. Now that's curveball from Wits. Forsaken though has to back on now. Showstopper now gonna get flung perhaps. Benkai though on board to get to so far. And Paper X getting a big advantage here. Is this gonna be overtime for it for PRX? Are we gonna go past regulation? It's all up to Borkum. He will get one there against Benkai. But past that wall, there are four members of Paper X watching, waiting, and setting up a fire. 12 into the first overtime. I think it's only Abdex. They're starting the grand final, map number one, with another overtime match between these two teams. Brandy Sports versus Paper Rex. Brand now on the attacking side. They're trying to take a hit heavy handedly into the A side initially, but Paper Rex are keeping them at the cusp of it, at the ridges of it. But Mind Freak will shut down Dubstep. He's pushing it all alone and punished heavily for that. Ah, Dubstep. Couldn't get the clear on to the right hand side. And just some beautiful tracking there from Mind Freak to keep an eye out if ever Dubstep was going to peek him. And just made sure that he could get that kill in the most secure way. But this time, Brent Esports, I believe they see that barrel and they're going to go for the wall bank. But Forsaken will be fended off. And Brent Esports does not secure the kill. Now by the last, Mind Freak is not done and he's just blowing the minds here of Brent Esports. Three for Mind Freak so far. Forsaken gets on the board as well. And everything is left to Jesse Vash. Can he go for the 1v5? We've seen aces from this guy in the previous matchup. But can he do it yet again for today? It's up to Vash here from the... Do it once more here. Initiative taken by them to go towards this B-long position. And even with that slow orb, you can see the fire of wits is not going to be snifled out just yet. He wants to go for this peak. He's not going to even flash it Dry P coming from him, gonna re it from Grime, go for even more. Ashiba went down, Divide almost following suit, but with that pickoff, they're happy to get that one and back off safely. Play the advantage that they got as Paper Rex, Paper Rex are going towards that A site once more. Dispenser gonna hold things down, he's so good on holding the TP down, he finds a second kill with a turret to help him too. Suddenly, Brent Esports make it 5-2. Oh, and again, Brent Esports fighting on back, Divide now the only one left. Didn't we see the scenario before? But divide this time, looking for success. But three.
It's still Brand Esports who said, okay, we're gonna be figuring things out on the OT situation instead. And here we have it. The Spencer wins on the board. This is now gonna be Brand Esports looking to go for that push. Forsaken, though, in the meantime, he has already been felled and dumps them with a takedown onto Benkai there. 4v2 scenario, but PRX tried to play the backstab. Can Shiba make this work with so keeping an eye out instead? And now it's Brand Esports now putting that spike down on A side. And we saw this last time, just in the last round. Defy is the lone survivor here of Paper X. Can he go for the 1v? for it's gonna be unlikely but he gets off to a good start here versus dubstep can he believe can he achieve he's got oh. he's got a three and then the five show gonna get denied there by wits what was he gonna find in southeast asia he's got a lineup for everything but now dubstep he doesn't need no lineup for this he's gonna take things straight and right push oh, no. in but mind freak double triple punish for mind freak here psychotic this man is and paper rex are looking to take things back and go and force overtime number three well, we're not done though. Jesse Flash does get a take on, but Mind Freak yet again. How many times does he do that, Black and Blue? Go for the punish, wait at the right angle at the right time, and he has to be one of the smartest players in the SEA scene because the angles that he takes, they're so opportune, and remains. they get the takedowns. And Jesse Flash now, he will fall to the hand of the Vi. Dispenser will die as well, and in an official competition and I'm very excited for that but we have to be excited for more of these rounds because we are not done Wits left. there with the kill on the Shiva Brent Esports now making it 5v4 My Freak now sticking on the round by the Lamps Dispenser though getting chipped away though on the HP department but Forsaken quickly getting two as Witch catches up Benkai 3v3 right now it's all a matter of clutch here but Brent Esports is running out of time Scan though trying to get some locations Dispenser using that extra space thanks to the deep recon dart there of Jesse Bash and he'll get the kill onto the Vi but Bren they're trying to run away from PRX and here we have Dispenser holding the line Esports again on map point Dispenser he's having himself a field day once more 21 on him Witch with 23 and this guy, man, he's been, you know, it this is once again a situation that Paper X have seen themselves, but can they make the overtime comeback happen? Jesse Bash here is going to find the pick, and he finds a second frag up on the device. He has a device to fall off of, and he gets that frag, not even wanting to take the teleport Mind to get into safety. Mind Freak on the punish on that trade. He went for the old orb, the Garden of Even, the temptation is right there, and he punishes him rightfully so for it. But the Spencer holding down the line for the meantime, it's a 2v3. Can Paper Rex make the clutch happen? It's Bankai and Forsaken to make it go. Yeah, they're gonna look for that overtime. Yet again, Spike is planted, but Borkum getting control with the gravity well. And here we go, time is ticking, and Bren with Wits and Dubstep looking to play from the hookah. It's all about backsteps here for Bren Esports, and it's up to them to use those angles of opportunity. Ben Kaito does get one. Borkum now with the backstab of his own from the elbow, and everything is left to Forsaken. But this time, will this be the Bible of Forsaken, or will he take a page of the Bren Esports playbook? It's Borkum time there to wrap it up. And Thanks a lot for a player like the Spencer who... Coming into the scene, he was one of the best as much on these duelists as much as they can do on the skies themselves. Bankai and Forsaken opening things up here on the ramp itself. They're certainly on the uptake, on the uprise to take this A site. But Dubstep's got an answer back for it. Not able to find a pick. He does eventually find a double of his own with the Sheriff. Last blood connects on Forsaken to 3v3. Yeah, back's on the way though with that dash. My freak in the meantime still keeping an eye out. And here we have it, Dubstep now. Just trying to play all the way at the back of that tower. At the same time, it's really intriguing to notice as Benkai there sees Borkum that we're not getting those mirror matches anymore compared to last time. Every single one of these comps has been unique between these two teams for the last two maps. Mm -hmm. And it does feel like that we're going to be getting a completely new look at both Bren Esports and Paper X coming in to this Grand Finals. Dubstep now with only 14 HP left. His dream to get the triple kill. Can he actually achieve it? The turret though. The raid boss off the pistol round already confirming his location. And the turret will get that kill the six man of paper rex in this scenario ben tied there with that momentum into this now finally they've got guns to bring into the round and look at this wits getting caught out in the open could not choose which target to really face and the shot shiba down taken quite low paper rex is still looking to aggress here on this male position jesse vash on the peak could not find the pick for sick and getting the better of him and dubstep looking to make something happen but he's going to get caught out as well Paper Rex right now, it's confidence personified from them, and it's such a confident game overall. Remove Wits from the equation, catch out Jesse Vash, even prevent Dubstep from making a play, and as Borkum... In the matchup yesterday between Paper Rex and Bren Esports, and knowing that, as he said, Dax, he adjusted his play style, and now he's having a field day, but we get solely around finding frags, and you can't even use the dismiss nor the heal if you can't find those frags. You have to snowball things in later on. But in this scenario, we get the lockdown now from Benkai. 
It does seem like here for Paper Rex. They do want to get more of that mid control with this lockdown. Flush out anyone from the towers themselves. Just eviction notice there for Jesse Bash. He has to go into the alleyway instead. And seems like he's going to be a bit homeless in this scenario. But Forkham now with a takedown of the Mind Freak. Forsaken does get one in response. And here comes Forsaken. He's not done. Showstopper catching out wits. And even though the Leer is there, the Eye of Sauron will not be enough to blind the aspirations there. Forsaken. And this is now going to be the lockdown in response from Bren Esports. PRX, they haven't put that spike down yet. They are still going to it on this B site. Spike planted, the Vi there peaking, but he misses the shot off to Jesse Bash, who is secure with his takedown of his own. But oh. Ben Kai, he goes back inside at the very last moment. And is this going to be a bait play here? Is Bren Esports thinking that Paper X has one more person there in in that res back scenario, but Benkai now gonna get spotted, gonna get killed by Dispenser as Forsaken will show his position by the group. Dubstep, they know where he is. We try and re-peek it, but Benkai punishing Wits there, cannot continue to re-aggress once more. Wits has been getting caught out time and time again here by Paper Rex. Be very hard as Arena to find much value and confidence when you can't even land those shots with Warcom and Jesse Bath. Off of the boost here, using the wall to its full capabilities, giving them the high ground like a Skywalker, and they're definitely running over this. A bit ambitious there for Paper Rex, Forsaken coming in close, but Mind Freak securing that kill! Just a quick little tap there on the Jesse Bash, Borkham though in the meantime with the end. For Ben Esports, they are anticipating Paper Rex plays. A while ago, even though Benkai was detained, they did go for the push. Now they know the Vi has a Blade Storm ready, but Dubstep this time feeling secure about himself. And with that confidence, he gets rid of Shiba. Benkai though in the meantime making it happen versus Jesse Bash, but Wits, he will get a second kill. Dubstep now here! But Forsaken from afar doesn't care about the range of the- Side 30 seconds left on the clock in Borkham here inside the mail. Will he check the angle? No, they won't. And Borkum finds a pickoff and that drops the spike all onto Mind Freak who cannot get the round. And that might be a point of contention here if as Paper Rex again, Mind Freak, how the hell does he even get those kills with those pistols? I don't even know. But he has just been masterful in these eco scenarios. Now he picks up a Phantom and he's playing by the default right behind the box. It's going to be a present. It's going to be an omen in the box there. But Dubstep now, Operator, Danger Close, Benkai goes down and Paper Rex they're gonna go for the paranoia play, but this is a near side. It might be Jesse Bash still seeing who's right there, right beside him. But he couldn't re-peak four wits as Mind Freak will take him down. And now we hear the blades from the side of Dubstep. So Jesse Bash, he's been lurking, Ooh. and he gets two with a classic of all things. Mind Freak now with three forsaken on the board as well, shutting down Dubstep, and everything is left to Dispenser. You know, black and blue. This round we had some guns, but it's the pistols getting the takedowns more often than not. But it's Spike Planet here and Paper Rex. Never forget that Nico's state, it's just a suggestion for them rather than a hindrance. Yep. When it comes to the eco, they're like, okay, this basically means that we got to uh, make a bit more flashy plays this time, and that's all they really don't bother and don't mind even working with. But Spencer, he's got a turret out here for information. You have to expect that when you see one, the other is going to be stacked up there as well. He knows they're there right now. Turret out here to try and help him peek, but it's a bit too shallow. Will not actually get much information, nor even damage on them. That turret will just keep him at bay, but not much more. And Forsaken will confirm the round is PR. Rex, they're always a force to be reckoned with, no matter what. Another turkey victory for them, effectively. Another eco state that they can still come up ahead. And now the show stopper at least versus Spencer. But with, he finds the vibe, but he cannot fight Forsaken who searches for him instead and avenges the Fallen. Now Borkum though, see Mind Freak there, Jesse Bash with the Resurrection on the Wits. It's gonna be 4v4, Borkum now in the inside of the Dark Cover, using his smokes of the opposition against them, and Forsaken down below, but Benkai will say bye to two. Dubstep Borkum though, wrap it up neatly. Right now, the crossover now from Devi. Dubstep has an operator, will not land a shot, and punished by Forsaken, lightning quick on that punishment. Wits run. will find the frag here on the Devi as well. He's been electric so far. Coming alive in the latter stages of this first half of Split. But now, Borkum has also been doing a great job holding things down. I think he's going to want to go down here with the ship. The captain will never abandon what is his. And Borkum, he's going to go down with it for the meantime. But three versus three. The retake will come in from Bren. And that's to kick things off here from Wits. Yeah, it's a kind of experience there for Borkum. At least he took down one. And this is now the Witch Show for the Reina. Getting three so far. The momentum that he desperately needs. He hungers for more kills. But it's all up to Mind Freak. If anyone can clutch it, it can be this guy. Opportunities yet again to get the advantage. And there you have it. Witch does go down. But unfortunately for Mind Freak, he only has 8 HP. Try to step on the inside. Jesse Bash all him. Oh, you know, that's an operator. You might want to stay away from that. Uh, I heard you loud and clear. 
There. It's clear now. Let's go. And here we go. But we'll pay for Rex to be able to clear things out on a slight. Dispenser though all the way by the screens. Quick little hop. So courtesy of the race, Shiva finding wits and a beautiful opening here for Paper X. So far, can Jesse Bass contend though? That's the question. He needs to back on the way, but the Spencer holding back, hanging back, and getting two so far. The dispenser of death here right now, dishing it out one after the other. Can he find even more to keep Bren with this advantage? They've got that man advantage in their way, but the lockdown will force Paper Rex out of the way here off the side. Jesse Bass punishing the opposing Sage. Sheba taking down. It's a 2v4. It's all on the Mind Freak and Venkai. The back line here for Paper Rex. But Jesse Bass will find that Freak on the Mind Freak. Venkai, the last one alive. He's going to have to see everything with a keen eye. The eagle on this man is going to have to soar high because it is a 1v4. Final round of the first half. Can Bren Esports end this with a lead at the end of it? They do get that pick off on the Borkum from Bankai, but left. he's still got three Bren Esports members ready to deal with, and they are all prepared to take the fight, all prepared to go for a triple swing on him. Third out for a bit of information that should let them know that there is one at least here towards the elbow. He is right on that assumption, but he will not convincing as uh, Paper X have been so far. Divai, actually, it's going to be... Paper X get that sixth sense yet again. It seems like that might be the case because Bankai is keeping an eye out the dispenser there. Gets balls to the hand of Bankai. Divai, though, with a catch up to Jesse Bash as well. But Bren Esports, they're making their direct conflict work. They're sieging onto B side. They have gotten two so far. Which there with Classic on the Mind Freak. And does Bren Esports have it in them to contend with the Thrifty Big? three can they do it right here right now will they be able to make this happen that's the question they have the numbers and will they give paper x a taste of their own medicine prx have been incredible in eco states with friend esports they're looking to prove it as well now then bad guy plus the turret can they work things out together? Is this going to be teamwork with the utility? Bentai, though, time is taking right in front of him. And which right now is looking to hop on the rocks, is willing to go above and beyond the expectations of many and are willing to fight in that manner. But the Spencer now catching up Bentai. And as for Sagan, is right behind the smoke. Can he even get an angle there? Dubs it already unleashed the blades. He didn't get the kill, though, so I think he barely has any now. Spike though is going to get planted. Paper Rex coming in from the tower. And Brand New Sports again with that lurk play from Dispenser. But PRX, they're already on notice with the dark cover. But Dispenser, he's a smoke criminal on the inside. Catches out Shiva Forsaken in the meantime with a kill on the Witch there. But PRX, they're looking low on the HP for the raise. Time is ticking and it's going to be an interesting scenario here for Brand New Sports as Dispenser is navigating to the middle where a wall will be in the way. But at the same time, PRX! They're checking things out. Borkum though it does have to be because of the paint shells. And Jesse Bash now with a punish on Forsaken instead. Mind Freak now will back on the way. This is going to be Paper X giving up this round. And the thing is, black and blue, when Bren Esports wins the second round as the boy gets a beautiful exit kill there onto Dubstep. But when Bren Esports gets a second round victory. They've proven that over and over. Divide trying to go for the peak here on mail. Not an advisable angle, but he still finds a pick off on a dubstep. That's a huge player to get here off of the Brand Esports side. Borkin trying to crawl his way to get for the refrag, but on the ping, he's going to find the double, almost finding a third. Shiba will confirm that to bring it to a 3v3 back here again. The lead away from Paper Rex, or will PRX be able to domineer, dominate, and show us what the Paper Rex experience is all about? Real question is, though. What is yeah. the problem here for the Paper X defense so far? Because not only did they get the code, Brandy Sports trying to play the angles, but for now, at the very least, they're looking pretty secure Player about standard. it. They get the takedowns onto both Jesse Bash and Dispenser. They're winning the duels that they need. They're holding the lanes that they're accustomed to. And it seems like the cleanup on Al Mid yeah. is the only one that needs to be done. Pulls to gather and garner. But as we get the smoke now into play, Mind Freak looking to play on the inside. Witstow already putting that spike down. And Mind Freak, he has a corner there to keep an eye out. Peekaboo, Mind Freak, the most commonplace thing. But at the same time, they're going to make it work anyway. They're going to try their luck and they're going to push things out onto that A site. Ben Kaido ready with lock that DRX looking for that retake. And Wits, he is the first one to fall as he was the first one to brawl. Now Ben Kaido thinking about putting this lockdown down and eventually he will commit onto it. Bernice Sports still backing on away and Borkum, he got hurt there by Forsaken. You can really feel like the senses are tingling for Forsaken. And two, he has to get for Forsaken. Looking for third. Dispenser though will shut him down. But here comes the Vi. And he's looking to claw his way to the round. Strong to ascend to the tower. But Dubs that will shut him down. While this is happening though, Shiva taking advantage of the situation. And Paper Rex, they will just slink at those kills. And quickly, or else Brandy Sports will get space and push forward. Forsaken though, surprising Wits there. Who's keeping an eye out on the tower. And PRX. They will still make two anyway in this round. 
good res coming from Jesse Bash. That's exactly what they needed for them to bring it back and forsake it. He finds a pick here on the Borkum. And now the only controller off of the side of, of Brian Esports has been thrown out the window. Dubstep going for the shot. Almost landing it on the Mind Freak. A bit too close for comfort there. He can see the Tracer whiffing past his head. But the Vi will not miss that shot on a Dubstep in return. They pull out the Avengers. But only a single pick is Shiva able to find here. Wits will get that one. And the Vi is going to find the third frag on the Wits this time. Closing off the... Self expiring. And they will... Should be able to get the plant here for the most part, but they're gonna try and go for this retake a bit early. And Dubstep not gonna be able to punish Shiba for that. Getting caught out in the open, getting mid control as well as Jesse Bat only finds one, but not any much more. Yeah, you'd think that Brent Esports is playing the breach and clear, but it's actually Paper Rex clearing out those off angles. And now Shiba, he's got a three. The Spence still catching up Ben Kai, but Meyer Freak shows up from the alleyway. And a sucker punch there from the Omen will get the takedown. Oh, left the Borkum here. He gets Shiba. It's now 1v1. Is this TikTok on the clock time here for Borkum? Is this going to be the clock winding on down? The Vido tried to play that shortly from in behind. Phantom out to bring around the Rosie. Impossible with Hosey. And it's a chase down here. The Vi, he needs to go for the defuse. Can he get halfway? And Borkum with the surprise. Borkum now. His time is here! The Paper Rex, we know that after a round like that, they're gonna answer back big, they're gonna answer back hard. And here comes the buy on the pick off, and he wow. finds Wit to get things going. The silencing the opposition, but Forsaken! Caught out there by Spencer, a little bit too greed from the race. Dumpstep now with the catch on Toshiba! And while Paper X got that beautiful pick off at the first sports, the two away from getting the 2-0 to zero score line, and that will be such an immense statement here for Brent Esports. And now you can see, again, Mind Freak now caught out here by the Spencer. Brent Esports playing their angles well, waiting at the right times, and in this battle of timing, it's Brent Esports with a better stopwatch. Can Brent now go to that B site? We have the wall to get in the way. Spike is being planted, and Paper Rex is still playing that operator, but can they get the angles? You lose this round, there is nothing they can do much afterwards. So Brand Esports, they've secured potentially an 11th. No! BRX, they've answered back. Brand Esports, they've given them a small window to work with. But the time is not there. And still Paper Rex, they're going to go for the save instead. Going for the save play, I admire that from them. They know there's a bigger picture here than winning just the round. Right now, can they get that victory? Well, it's up to them to answer that question. Dubstep though, keep an eye out. Here we go with the Vi right now. Catching out Dubstep with the play coming if he peeks in the middle. Left. And as soon as he comes out, oh, Bren, they want to go for these right instead. The Vi though will be the first contact. Borkum will get that take on. Venkai right now trying to survive. Shiva finding Borkum. And here we have it. The detain will it get anyone. Doesn't, but Bren buying space for themselves and here they go onto that B-site. They were trying to sell that B-site early on, and for the most part, Paper Rex, they weren't buying. They knew it was Snake Oil at the under end of it, but Dispenser is going to get that frag off. He was going to get one of his own. They now have a 3v2. The plant will go down. Will they be able to get the clutch? Jesse Bash able to bring it to a 2v2 here right now on the hell, and Shiba will send him directly from whence he came. Jesse Bash at the under end of it, and we're going to continue on. thought to think about now, I think about it, but it's a smelling. I'm going to rescind that. It's smelling like overtime in general, okay? But... The boots here, put on by Paper Rex, they are steel toed. They can protect him in any situation. Jesse Bash almost making the clutch happen, but we're going into final round X. It's smelling Black like overtime once more. My friend, you might want to get some foot spray for that one. Yeah, it, maybe. <laughs> yeah. The athlete's foot, well, I, I, I don't think, I don't the think it's the game. Player. I think it's a real problem that you might want to check after we're done with this series, friend. <laughs> Oh, oh, guy. Oh, 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 no. Okay. Oh, Nano Swarm? No one saw that Nano Swarm. He did a buy. He's looking to conquer anyone in front of him as soon as possible. He has been holding steadfast here on tower, and he's looking for one, and there he go. Wits now does go down. Beautiful operator shot from Dubai yet again. Dubstep though going on the inside. Surprises Shiva there with that quick reaction, but Benkai with a shutdown on Dispenser, and it's 4v3. Waldo is set on up. Dubai looking for another one. This time he doesn't get the connection off to Jesse Bash, and Brent Esports, they're navigating to that east side. They use parkour. They use that updraft to get that spike plan, but while this is happening, it's now Paper X understanding the situation. They they will commit that lockdown. It's the last round of the second half anyway. Forsaken there with a kill onto Dubs. The Borkum now with the kill off the first game in response. But Benkai! The Nano Swarm! It still works out in the end outside the map! And Benkai there getting that take down. Jesse Vash now! Falls to the hand of Mind Freak and Paper Rex! The push here on. The ramp's gonna be pulled back because of that Nano Swarm. Dispenser looking to aggress because of that. But he's gonna get caught out in the open by the opposing Killjoy. Benkai punishes him. This is where Paper Rex can start the freight train going, and there you go, station onto the Tower of Wits will deny. And the rest here, Paper Rex crawling up in the heavens itself. 
on side the ropes, holding down the angle. Mind Freak will be there. Trying to peek out though. Mind Freak will find that pig off, and Divide will find one on the Borkum as well. This overtime round is seemingly looking in the way Paper X have just enough time to get the plant off on the B site itself, of which Ten they can. Left. Nobody inside the site to deny that from happening. And Brand Esports, they're gonna have to go for the 2v4 retake here, Dex. But Jesse Vash, I don't think he realizes that Divide is gonna be looking down his way. Okay, makes him whiff the shot off of the sidestep. Oh. Cannot confirm. Yes, he will. That's a good you pick off run. here. And suddenly a sliver of a chance has been opened up here by Bren. Yeah, good hustle for Paper Rexo to rotate to that B site, but Bren Esports giving themselves a chance, shutting down Divide, and now Dubstep with a drop down. Can he go for that kill? Already a dash on in. Side the cloud burst, and he is able to outduel Shiva in that scenario. It's 2v2 now, duos versus duos. Now then, Ben Title facing off against Jesse Bash, and now Dubstep goes for the fake. It makes Mind Freak check it out, and Bren Esports will say, Look, see, we will do the attacking side. Can they make it happen a second time around in overtime? They have been perfect so far in these overtime situations, Dax. The panel touched on it. They have yet to lose a map that isn't against Paper Rex. And in all of those maps, well, at least a bunch The records of Brand in the playoffs, they were the team that have given Brand the map losses. And will they be the team? Once again, that they've been stepping on here, Bren. That Devi has been poking them with, prodding at them. But Shiva's gonna get blinded by that short-sighted and he cannot see far enough to get the shots off. Wits opening things up and Brand Esports are a few kills away from potentially going up 2-0 in this series and maybe getting that one map closer to claiming the champions of C, the kings of C title. Forsaken will find one, but he's taken down by Dubstep. 2-4 here, Dax. It's all onto Bankai and Mind Freak. They've been super clutch and Bankai will find that dragon on Dubstep. You can potentially find one more but the turret is going to give his position away. They now know that both of the pushes here are going to come from the CT side, but Mind Freak able to cross because of his teleport. The Omen here coming up alive, but Bankai is going to have to find the crossfire working out in his favor. Still though, Jesse Bash catches Mind Freak off. Bankai will find one, did not find a bunch of them. Every time it went into that overtime situation, Brent have come out of it. Perex on this defense. Trying to stop the push, but Borkum's gonna stop Forsaken on the flank. Shiba will get that frag with a shock dart of his own, very apt. But Divide will get the trade off for Dispenser. And Shiba, he finds Wits. They're just shutting down the push here of Dispenser and the rest of this brand esports squad. It's all in the dubstep. And Borkum, who initially did have some good signs on this A push, but could not really confirm the site itself. Dubstep gonna have to fall back. But Borkum coming at the right time. He is the Viper striking without them even knowing. And Dubstep will for the wall, but Paper Rex. They can't whittle down that wall very quickly enough. Dubstep instead catching out Bentai. Beautiful pick off there from Bren Esports. And you mentioned it a while ago, Black and Blue. That's the one rifle they have in their hands. And it seems like that's going to be Dubstep's gun to get that takedown. 5v4 scenario. Forsaken those searching for a target or two. It's Dispenser now seen on the left-hand side. But the Frenzy is enough to get rid of the Vi. Wits also with a catch out the Vi Freak after Dispenser falls. And it's 4v2 now. Can Shiva hold the line together here with Forsaken? Paper X trying to play their hearts out by the Yellow Crate. But it's Wits there dismissing to get in the middle of the two walls and Borkum has set up Bren Esports a good sign for Bren to still make it a 5v5 and as we get the utilities to flush out Forsaken with 30 4 seconds and left. no Paper Rex have yet to secure a round but with that pickoff from Shiva they're in the path of doing that gonna have to fall back through it but Dubstep a wild shot from him but lands in mind trick Bankai answering One back though he finds a double Five to hold down the line the Sentinels here Paper Rex in every sense of the word True turrets keeping the line straw. To play those utilities, he knows how to hit those shots, and he's just a turret there for Paper Rex that is absolutely reliable. But Shiva now giving Jesse Bash that Hunter's Fury. Wits also gonna fall! Go for the plant right after, that's exactly what he's gonna do. But Forsaken with this wall right in front of him, it idolizes it, it solidizes right in front of him, going hard, and now they can keep things clean. Here comes out the Viper's Fifth Blade. I'm not sure if he's gonna. Pop it just yet. They do have the poison on the spike itself. Barely a bit too deep though. Still dubstep. Even at low HP finds the pick for second. Find the way to go. Borkum's able to get the trade off of that. And Mind Freak will answer back in the dubstep. Borkum will be shut down. He's taking the brunt of that. He will not land the shot more importantly. Plant will go down here at the very edge of that barrier. It's dubstep taking that vertical angle. They're playing this really close. They're not actually necessarily playing for lineups in this case. But they will be playing very tightly knit on this defense. There we go, time ticking. Brent Esports has gotten the plant down, but we've seen Paper Rex come out of this situation right before this round. And they look to do so yet again. 
Move 5v5, full retake to Nara, Shiva though running on in just to die, Jesse Bash now lobbing that shock that first to Mike but Venkite here with two so far, and Paper Rex trying to get to that defuse, but Borker will shut that down, it's friends spamming it out on the objective, they know the win condition, and they are just conditionally hitting those- Now here comes a plant on the side itself, Forsaken on the Spike flank planted. with his own knives, and Venkai will get the kill on Dispenser, a second for Forsaken, this remaining. is the problem, when you give him those blades, he can chop things up like a stiff souffle, and now the round taken thriftily on an eco by Paper Rex. And just Paper Rex success, especially against Bren. To continue that to oh, find dubstep. more success, but Dubstep no on this up angle on. finds Mind Creep for Forsaken. We'll get the trade off of that, but the Jesse Bash guarantee will is gonna confirm the kill on Forsaken, and the res will come in from Dubstep. Now in a 5v3, Divide will do the same to get Forsaken back online. And Bankai there trying to hold off the flank. You can see Wits is already trying to get some takeoffs here on the A side, and Bankai will find him, but Borkum will do the same with Shiva on towards mid. It's a 4v3. They got the wall up here coming up now by Borkum, and Bankai is trying to find a way to dip his hands into that poison and stop it from coming up oh, in the Borkum. first place. But Borkum on the tube is gonna show him get out of here for a second. I am the owner of this. And well, on the flank, the Vi will catch him off guard as well. They still have a chance here to make this stuff happen as Paper Rex bring it down to a 2v3. The plant will go on the B side decks. <laughs> that was a uh, that's when that was an it's Borkum moment out of nowhere peeking right, peeking back on the inside, but at least Paper Rex. Finally ending his tyranny of that tube. Spike though has been planted and the damage has been done. It's Brandy Esports now with a man advantage and they have gotten the objective in location. So on the flip side now, lockdown on the other side. Dispense though, beautiful wall dance there, but the Vi will take advantage of the distraction and Dubstep gonna fall. 2v2 now, here comes the Vi. Can he get even more here? And there's the peak from Paper X3 for the Vi, but Jesse Bad! Finals himself. And that's looking to be true here for Brand Esports. They might just have their vengeance. The Punisher might come alive. And Dispenser will be the first hand into that case. Oh my Borkum though catching Mind Freak. Where are your feet sticking out of the blanket? The monster is under the bandits. His name is Borkum. Sheba getting the kill on Dispenser though. There's a 4v3. They've taken the site, but on top of the tube, there will be a waiting Sheba taken down by Witzo. The 4vt. I on the high ground and Wits is not done. We're here for Paper Rex. Can he just caffeinate the roster here with the clutch? It's a 1v4. Mid out here, they still have the Empress online from Wits, which they just pulled out as well. No ultimates on the side of Paper Rex. They've been struggling to get that online because of how little rounds they were actually able to string in a row. The Bankai will get that kill on the Wits for the meantime. Spike planted. Spike planted though. Borkum just right behind the wall. There we have Snake Bite gonna get thrown on Achi, but I think it's time to go for the spam. And PRX are getting tagged from the inside, but none of them have fallen as of yet. Still a chance here for Paper Rex. Does seem like Oshiba has the spot to Borkum for the execution on the inside. Just the mobility inside there for the Viper. That vision helping him out immensely. Two here for Borkum so far. Dispenser on the board as well. And it's now gonna be 4v2. Mark is not trying to go for the A that strong game. Step on the peak here towards B-Long, but Forsaken up top. Will he catch him off guard? Forsaken on the peak. He still does not land the shot as Dubstep will get the pick off here to get things going on the B side. That signals that the Vi has to fall all the way back into it. And he that he will, but Borkum will catch him off. Anyways, that small gap in the Viper wall was enough for him to get a sliver of an opening and capitalize on it. But Bankai will find one of his own. Borkum will do the same, getting a second kill in the round on the Shiba. And the Rez will come up here on the Spencer. It is all on the Mind Freak and Bankai. And Bankai lands a great tap here in the dubstep. But Borkum will answer back, Dax. It's all on the Mind Freak in a 1v4. And can he actually slither on in? Can he find the angles? He goes for Borkum first and foremost. Good pick up there. On to the fellow Viper. But the three people on the other side of this wall. It's looking pretty dicey for Mind Freak. But we're not done. Three kills for Mind Freak himself. Looks like this is going to be the chef in the kitchen going on the outside. Harvesting his own ingredients with only 11. No. Nah, <laughs> yeah, that's what the reality is. Come on. Let's, you have to face facts there, Black and Blue. Paper Rex is an incredible team. But Bren right now, they're looking to be at their next level. And we saw that play before from Forsaken. This time, though, he doesn't make it to the second floor and now he has to shoot out of this situation Brent Esports they're hanging on back they have read some of the Paper Rex plays come on your name is Paper Rex you gotta have some framework there you gotta have some things written in the words and PRX now they're making sure their word is law in this pistol round they have gotten four so far all up to dubstep right now even though Forsaken and Mind Freak are quite low, they are navigating to that A site. And Paper Rex, if they want to salvage this game, it's high time to do so. Putting that spike down on A site, 
If they get this win, there's a really big chance for Paper X to do the Paper X comeback and get back. And the tube has been a big point of contention for Brand Esports time and time again here in Icebox with Bang Next time in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, as we are now going to get the conclusion of this far fight, and Forsaken will kick things off strong with a kill there on Wits. Good pick off from him, but Jesse Vash is going to answer back and Dubai. It's a 4v3 here, Dax. Borkum trying to peek from the rafters, but he cannot really find an angle. This should force Forsaken out, who does not have a dash to get out of safety. And Borkum will confirm the kill off of that with a poison. Now, 3v3, they tied things up. Mind freaking Bankai both quite low. Bankai trying to buy this time here in the corner, but the maze will be shut down. Shiva getting a trade up there, and then Jesse Vash, but he's going to try and stick the defuse. He will get half for the meantime. Dispenser getting the pick off. He will try and tank this the poison, but no, he cannot get the defuse off all the way in the back. Mind freak will be found. He has barely enough time. No. Does he? He's gonna try and he stick it. This. Nope. He got this. Does he? Got he? This. he got this. He got halfway. Does. It was halfway with the drop half. down. Arsenal. If they can keep on chipping on the way, that's their potential to go for the comeback. But on the flip side, it's still 10 points for Brent Esports, so that's the danger zone for them if they do give up too many rounds on the attacking side. But this time, they have a good advantage. Off the jacket for Forsaken, playing that wisely, backing on the way with the dash. And as Dispenser still gets Forsaken after everything is said and done, the Endeavor is there for Des Dispenser. Gonna fall apart as well. We have the refrag there from Paper Rex, but still a good kill from Dispense anyway. They're gonna be happy. Happy to shut down the prodigy of Paper Rex. But this is still Paper Rex with a good advantage, and it's all of the dubstep right now to navigate to isolate. Not getting much out of that, uh, actually, not getting anything at all out of the Blade Storm there. And Jesse Vash will answer back on the Defy. 30 seconds left on clock, and he finds a second. Okay, a sliver of a hope here for Brand. They bring it to a 2v2, but Bankai, he knows that he's got the back here of uh, Shiba. Now, 1v2, it's back to Borkum Dex. He's done the clutches, he's made it happen in the past. The plant will go down here on the other end of it, but he does not see where exactly. And the rotation here now from Yellow. He's looking to make the clutch happen. He's giving his position away. They now know he's on Yellow. He lands opening shot on the Bankai, and now it's all on the Borkum and Shiba using the ultimate here to give him some space concealment to work with, and that shock dart is going to keep him at bay. But as soon as Shiba comes into it, he will be decayed, but now on the tap, can he clutch this out? Oh, that's the thing, Borkum though, with low HP, and the question is, does Paper Rex have the right time Ooh. zone here? They were looking forward to the Berlin time zone, but apparently it's the Borkum time zone instead, and it's now gonna be 11 to 6 as the Viper plays a clutch, and Bren can be forced out more of this competition, or has Bren had enough? Will they be able to declare themselves as the kings of SEA? Well, Wits there already screaming up top the mountaintop, and Shiva will go down. Lockdown though, being built here by Paper Rex, they're going for the push, using that space to their advantage, and not not only that, they're even adding more here. That's the Viper Spin, there's the wall as well, and PRX trying to claim territory, but Bren looking to defend. Bren going here on this defense, trying to go for the retake, and Dubstep finds an opening, picking up Forsaken, that's huge, and Dispenser will follow up on the Bankai as well. It's down to a 5v2, Dispenser down to 1 HP, but he doesn't care, he has no care in the world. Mind Freak here on the corner of this, he might be able to find the pick off on Dispenser, but can he find any more? He will get that one pick off, the Blades here, rather, the pit will be so detrimental, but they're still gonna get the pick off. It's all the Divide who has the res, but no care in the world! Br Just cheer on the black and yellow, as we get Borkum with 20 takedowns and 10 assists. Assist. Jesse Bash there with 10 and 9 for him. But really, is this going to be the icing on the cake for Brand Esports? They got the are going to try to hold the line here by B-Side. Dispenser looking to play close and Forsaken. He whips this time! And how the irony just ticks on away. Brent now went for it. It's all up to Benkai. And the age of SCA, it shifts through the times. But are we in a new era? Are we going to get enlightenment here? Is this going to be Brent East? 2-0 versus Alter Ego to secure that shot to Brent Lin. Will they move on?